Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Forex Cares. Today is the 6th of July, 2022. So, uh, yesterday, USD suddenly turned around, become strong. Uh. Okay, this is a bit unexpected. But anything could happen because tonight we are having FOMC, right? So, uh, when we have FOMC meeting, you know, a lot of irrational things happen. So, that's why be careful, okay? Uh, during this period, FOMC rates and uh, end of the year, F uh, end of the month, uh, FOMC federal Fed rates and also today FOMC meeting also uh, uh, market is irrational have to be careful uh. a lot of fear a lot of greed in the market subscribe like share and comment subscribe like share and comment okay my twitter is twitter.com forex uh. okay so let's check out the quick uh, disclaimer first Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay. Let's check out the calendar. So we know that the cash rate, AUD, right? The cash rate uh, went to 1.35 as expected. Okay, this will be good for the AUD. And of course, tonight we got uh, these uh, jobs report for the US and also services PMI and uh, imp very important FOMC meeting minutes we have to load, uh, we have to monitor and uh, after that of course uh, th Thursday not much uh, Friday we got cat unemployment change uh, average at US uh, non-farm employment change uh, so have to check out okay this one on uh, Friday so tomorrow we have to wait for the FOMC uh, for the uh, probably a longer term direction of the USD okay let's check out okay DXY let's check out the chart okay, DXY did broke support uh, uh, did broke resistance okay so the price went up probably there will be a uh, uh, probably USD in the long term will continue to strengthen uh, okay because after it breaks resistance right probably there is a retracement first okay so if you want to buy USD wait for a retracement I think a short term uh, retracement or Probably tonight there will be retracement uh, during the FOMC, okay? Or it could have a turnaround, uh, so that's why very careful when you have such a big event, uh, okay? It can straight away turn the other way around tonight. That's why when you're trading today, uh, or, or, okay, it can straight away fly up again. Okay, that's why be a bit careful today if you're trading, uh, don't better not trade a uh, very big loss size. Uh, look at DXY, I think, okay, the the uh how we call it the high probab probability thing that will happen uh, okay scenario will happen that it will come back and retest 105 and rebound okay uh or, or i said it will very high probability it will come back to test 105 either it rebound or break down we don't know okay but uh higher probability it will come back okay a uh, retracement back here look at a uh, euro euro similar Okay, Euro might have a retracement, but the retracement could be smaller because we got a support here. We got resistance here at uh, 103625. Okay, so uh, when you have uh, such an, uh, a resistance nearby, so you have to be careful. Uh, pound, okay, pound, we maybe have a double bottom here. Okay, uh, so it didn't break through this area. 1.1953, yeah. okay. So if we cannot break through, there's a probability that it might rebound over here. Okay, it might rebound. Uh, Swiss frame, okay, Swiss frame broke. Okay, Swiss frame broke the uh, broke the sideways. Uh. So Swiss frame is weak. Okay, Swiss frame probably is a uh, is a uh, is what what you uh, is uh, also a good good uh, currency to trade. Uh. okay, selling the Swiss frame. Uh, JPY is sideways. JPY is sideways. So JPY is not very good to trade. 
Uh, Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar also big drop, but now it reached support. There's a problem, uh, it reached support already. So probably there is some uh, 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 retracement before it goes down. AUD, AUD uh, also a bit a bit difficult to see the direction because we kind of have a sideways, okay? Kind of have a sideways price action here. Okay, kind of have a sideways price action here, so you have to be careful. Not a very good pair to trade. This one also, we got kind of a dodgy here, also not a very good pair to trade. But I do think that it will come back and retest 0 0.62070 before it goes down or it continue goes up. Okay, a, a retracement is very likely. But after that, which way it goes, we are not too sure. Huh? Okay, because, because of uh, tonight FOMC, anything could happen. Okay, look at Euro USD. Okay, your Euro USD price broke below uh one point zero three six three eight. Okay, so uh after it broke the support, naturally it will come back to retest the support area. Okay, before it continue goes down. Also, because of FOMC, it might go all the way up. Okay, but a retracement should happen. But uh, after retracement, which way it will go, we are not too sure because of the FOMC. Uh, pound USD, pound USD also. Okay, a retracement. Coming back to this area, 102, okay, uh, 1.20, sorry, 11, okay, but then we have to wait and see, okay, whether it, re it continue to go down or it, it turn the other way around, huh? okay, but if you look at the chart pattern, it should go down, huh? okay, it should go down after retracement. USD, JPY, USD, JPY, we got a pin bar over here. Okay, so, uh, so a false break of the... Consolidation, uh, okay, after a first break of consolidation, normally price would drop, okay, because after, normally after a first break means the institution actually wants to bring the, uh, bring the JPY, uh, bring USD JPY down, uh, okay, the direction is down, so probably this one you can look for sell opportunity, uh, okay, probably you can look for sell opportunity towards this area, towards, uh, 134.467, Okay, AUD, USD. AUD, you see, start to sideways already. So this one better, one better not. Uh, uh, New Zealand dollar, USD. New Zealand dollar, USD, we got a rejection here. But this is not a very strong pin bar candle. This is still a bearish candle. Okay, so this one also, the direction is not very clear. Okay, uh, USD cat. USD cat, we got a big bullish candle. Okay, so this one probably want to continue go up. So wait for a... Uh, Price to come back to 1.29625, retest, resumption for buy opportunity. USD Swiss franc, USD Swiss franc, okay, USD Swiss franc already broken through, but now uh, it already hit a resistance already, okay, a resistance already. So probably you want to look for a retracement back down here before uh, before starting to buy, uh, okay, wait for retracement. Probably come back to this one, 0 0.96272, okay, before look for buy. Okay, go. Okay, go still not rebound. Oh, go. Wow. Wow, one gap down. Oh my god. This is really, really bad for go. Okay, one gap down to 1007. Uh. Okay. Huh. Uh, these are not expected. Uh. Okay. It got support over here at 1,782, 1,780. But then suddenly today a gap down. Uh. Wow, looks like go is going to drop some more. Very bad for go. Okay. Wait for uh probably it will come back to close the gap uh, okay it's one seven eight two and then continue to go down again. Oil oil also big drop oh my oil also big drop looks like oil also the bullish view of oil already done I think oil is going down okay oil wait for retracement towards uh one zero seven one zero five area I think one zero five here here also we got a uh, support over here at one zero five uh. So probably there will be a yeah okay a retracement to one zero five before it goes down again. Look for the look for the index SPI SPI is still sideways huh? okay we can't we can't we can't actually trade this one on doing sideways. Okay Dex Dex broke down below the the sideways price action look like Dex want to go down some more. Okay probably look for a retracement and sell opportunity. Nasdaq, okay, Nasdaq actually broke above the consolidation, uh, so Nasdaq looks like Nasdaq, we have a short-term rebound, 
towards 12080 uh, okay SMP okay SMP also we got uh, two one pin bar and well, another tail bar here okay looks like SMP also got the chance to continue go up look at Dow Jones okay Dow Jones we got a pin bar here okay but the pin bar happened at the sideways price section we have to wait and see okay uh, probably there is a chance that it will rebound okay probably there is a chance to rebound but but the index is not so good to trade okay the direction is not very clear okay Ex except this one for the uh, nasdaq okay nasdaq direction is quite good uh, nasdaq probably tradable other than that tax probably can you can sell aussie no uh, this one probably sell sell the uh, oil and sell the uh, go this one yes usd swiss franc wait for buy USD cat wait for buy. This one not tradable yet. This one wait for sell USD JPY. Uh, pound USD and uh, uh, Euro USD also probably wait for sell. Uh, okay. So the XY has strengthened. Okay. So the strong pair are uh, the strong currency. Yes, dollar. Uh, cat no more strong. Okay, you cat no more strong. Okay. So US dollar is the strong currency now, okay? I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.